Def Leppard is one of those bands that I love, but don't listen to them often enough. So I felt it was time to give them the attention they deserve. So for this week's Rewind, we're going to take a look back at the classic album Pyromania. And here we go. We kick it off with the classic sound that if someone were to ask you what does Def Leppard sound like, this is the song you show them. Every now and again, the bone will play this song and it's a treat. The chorus is classic 80s rock and it is just a grand old time. Colin has always been a master of adding blues into rock solos. And I feel that's what established him as the guitar hero that he is. It's the perfect way to start. Look at this photograph! I am a Nickelback defender. Side of the Bullet, This Means War are amazing songs, but this is the superior song titled Photograph. It's one of their mega hits, and it's not the last one you're going to hear on this album. Probably because it has just the right amount of cowbell for your prescription. This is one of those songs that makes even the stingiest of Aunt Karens go crazy. You know, I've been lucky. Even during my first show, back in high school during Battle of the Bands, I have never been a victim of stage fright. I don't know how, but I'm lucky. The verse of this song is awesome and is what I want to hear. The chorus is a little weak to me and I don't feel it matches the intensity. Obviously, a ton of their songs use this style, successfully, but I don't feel the chorus here plays off the verse very well. However, the bridge after the second chorus does evolve quite flawlessly from the chorus. It, along with the solo, are absolute track saviors for me. Track is a bit of an overall mixed bag, but I'd say I like it in the end. Starts with an alien sounding notation, but shifts into the western theme. Cowboys vs. Aliens, anybody? It's not one of their bigger hits, but it's a hit nonetheless. The song is a bit stereotypical 80s, you know, rock and hair metal, but Def Leppard is the godfather of hair metal, so they get a pass. They do it better than most anyway. That is such a great title for a song and a movie. The clean guitars in this one actually remind me of Styx. Sweet Madam Blue and These Are The Times. I actually saw these two bands live together quite some time ago with my friend The Curator and it was a fantastic show. I want to say it was 2007. Def Leppard is his favorite band and Styx is well documented as mine. That was a damn fun night. Back to the song, it's really good. Formulaic to the Def sound but it's a great formula to follow. As we discussed way in the past, some formulas are better than others. The main bouncy riff, however, is A1. This is personally my all-time favorite Def Leppard song. It has everything I want in the song, and no matter how many times I hear it, I never get tired of it. I legit just had it once on repeat for two hours. Subdued verse with haunting guitars. Screaming bridge. The build-up pre-chorus. And finally, the killer chorus to close off the musical rush. It's a perfect song, and it ain't fooling no one. Another one of their biggest hits, but I must confess, I've never been the biggest fan of this song. I'm not even sure why. Maybe it's because it sounds too much like a rock song that was made for a musical instead of just a regular rock song. Which did end up happening, so I'm justified in my mindset to me. I won't take anything away from you if you like or love this song. Good for you. Just, if you disagree with me, please understand why I don't like it. Great guitar work here in the opening that kind of reminds me of Dokken. I hate to go back and back on negativity, but the verse to me is just kind of meh. The chorus is good, but this song is a filler track for sure. Aside from the intro, the guitar work in this song even by itself sounds pretty uninspired. Even the solo is run the mill. In the end, this song is just kinda here. Ooh, we get slide guitar going off here. It's not used enough in rock and metal guitar work because you can get some very interesting riffs and sound effects by using this technique that's not used that much in metal. I think this song also inspired Toby Keith. The song is again very formulaic, but does it much, much better than coming under fire. Good bounce back. First Joe, then Jamie, now Billy. Somebody's got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these guns. Also, is this a Dio song? The riff sounds like it came straight from Rainbow. And the bass reminds me of Heaven and Hell. 
really, I can picture Dio doing this song. It's great. It sets itself apart from the rest of the album and serves as a great end cap. This song has now become one of my all-time favorite Def Leppard songs. The end kind of comes out of nowhere, though. Even with some of its hiccups, this album is a classic for many reasons that overshadow the blemishes. It almost made it to the company of the other classic albums I promoted to first class. But I can't ignore the parts I just straight dislike. So in the end, this album is definitely most excellent. I have given out mostly positive reviews lately, so I ask you, request an album that you think sucks. I'm overdue for bad music, and I feel like tearing into something for a change. I still have yet to give out time to go play Frisbee, and I feel it's time. Till that day comes, my friends. Take care. Yeah.